a very good morning to all my dear students i shruti sahai your science teacher is going to begin a new topic from your chapter separation of substances and cleaning of food we have started this chapter in the previous class so now today we are going to proceed further with the what with the three different methods of separation that is used to separate solids from other solids and namely they are sieving threshing winnowing and one more activity we are going to do in this class and that will be its objective is to separate pieces of paper from cardboard pieces by winnowing so students before moving further or proceeding in this chapter you should know the two new terms and these are husk and sieve husk is the dry outer covering of grains and it is called husk it is lighter than grains students you must have seen at your home that on the wheat grain or on the rice a coating brown coating is there and that coating is known as husk and this husk is not a waste this husk is used as a food fodder for the animals see students in in each of you uh, in every house the sieve is there you must have seen your mother sieving the uh, flour before making chapatis so sieve is a mesh held in a frame so mesh you uh, mesh you must have seen there at every home in each of uh, in each one of your home you must have seen the mesh doors mesh doors are chali ke darwaze so that uh, chali Uh, which is of different uh, which is available of different pore size in the market uh, is framed in a frame and this is known as mesh uh, sieve students you have seen on the construction sites this kind of mesh of square shape is placed and uh, it is bigger in size and its pores is also bigger in size as compared to the sieve which is present at your home and the sieve is used to separate the bigger pebbles or stones from the sand and students so here we conclude one thing that the size of the pores of the mesh depends upon the size of the impurity which has to be separated here you can see the pebbles are of bigger size so the mesh size is also big so here you can see that the floor is very fine so here the mesh size of the pore size of this mesh is very small now students sieving is method used to separate components of mixture which are of different sizes so you can explain sieving in just one line that is it is a method to separate components of mixture which are of different sizes so here students i would like to give you one example if you will mix wheat flour with chalk powder and you will sieve it you will see the observation that both the things will be sieved both the things will be filtered no residue will be left on the surface of the mesh because these uh, two different components have same particle size so for this method to be taken the size of the impurity and the two components of the mixture two or three whether uh, should be different in their size now students see threshing the other method of separation wow what a beautiful view is it no beautiful sunshine and this beautiful farm and here you can see the crop is almost fully dried and now the farmers uh, after uh, now the farmer is almost ready to harvest it here you can see after harvesting the farmer has collected the stalks and make bundles of it and the farmer is ready to separate now students you can see here that the long portion is uh, you can see by the pointer that the longer portion is known as the stalk and in the 
uh, in this top portion the grains are there so this what the farmer will do to separate the grains from the stalk that the farmer will take a uh, uh, take a solid thing and will beat it up and will beat it beat these stalks or uh, one other alternate method he can do that he may just put the stalk in his hand and beat it on a uh, on a log on a wooden log or something that is hard so that the grains from the stalks could be separated so here students threshing could also be done by the animals because um, as the field size is very large and the crops are not less in quantity and that will require a lot of labor so animals could also use to do this and machines in the large fields are also being used to do this and see how the uh, a man is beating the stalks of uh, the by holding the stalks and the grain is being removed so this is also a method of removing the crops or the grains from their stalks so in one line you can explain threshing is the process of separating grains from stalks is called threshing students you must have heard that the children uh, talking among themselves that yes yesterday i got a very uh, bad threshing from my mother no so threshing is beating up something with a hard object now the last method of separation we are going to study in this class is winnowing by the name itself you can uh, understand its meaning win win uh, is taken from the word uh, wind winnowing is blowing off by the wind so here you can see you must have seen your mother doing it at your home while after cleaning the rice by hand picking he used to uh, just uh, flip the plate to um, make the grains jump and uh, after that ma uh, the mother will or the mother or whoever is cooking at your home will blow to um, separate the lighter undesirable particles from the grains so students here one activity is there that the boy is playing in the playground and there he saw a pot and in that pot a mixture of stones and sand are there and the boy picked up the picked up the mixture in his hand and after that he blew it away and what remained in his hand pebbles remained in his hand and here you can see that only the pebbles remain in his hand and the sand blew away so students from this you can conclude that the lighter object when you will uh, blow in that will fall away from you and the heavier will fall nearer to you or will remain in the uh, in your hand or in whatever you are taking the substance students you can explain winnowing in one line by winnowing is a method to separate lighter components of a mixture from the heavier ones by wind or by blowing air students in the last we are going to perform one activity in that activity you need to you need to have a waste paper and you uh, you will not have to take a fresh paper as we have studied in the previous chapters that we need not to uh, waste the paper as it will require deforestation and plants are very very important for our survival so we will take the waste paper in that a used paper or you can take newspaper and you have to cut it into smaller pieces and you will have to take a waste cardboard box uh, from your house which is of no use now and you have to cut it in the similar pieces similar size pieces and you will have to mix it and place it over a tray and after that switch on the fan or you can if you don't want to switch off on the fan in such a winter you can just do you can just blew it and you will observe that the newspaper or the waste paper will fall away from you and the cardboard will remain on the tray or will fall closer to you so in this by this method you it it will be very um 
easy to understand that the heavier object will be closer to you and the lighter will fall away from you the same method is used by the far farmers to clean their grains or in the homes as well so you will observe that the pieces of cardboard will fall closer to you than those of papers so here at this point you are able to answer the four types of different separation methods hand picking threshing winnowing and sieving and these methods are used to separate the solids from solids so students thank you for listening and hope it is very much understandable to all of you and uh, students you are asked to perform this activity at your home and go through this video listen to it enjoy thank you